What is what is Jeff Flake doing? It was not too long ago. It was just this morning that he said when he was asked about further investigation, he said, quote, where does this start? Where does it end? More time, more ludicrous allegations. What does that do to the accused? Hours later, he wants an FBI investigation. What's he doing? Look, if if Jeff Flake thinks that a week is going to calm down the country, he's insane. Look at the last week and the media coverage and the feeding frenzy on Brett Kavanaugh and his family. And by the way, this is difficult for Dr. Ford's family as well. We want another week of this. It's immoral. And by the way, this entire FBI uh, investigation talking point, I can't believe the people I see making this point. I know most of them, the vast majority of them, know that it's just a pure transparent delay tactic. The FBI does not have criminal jurisdiction, even if everything that Dr. Ford said were true. It does not have the, the jurisdiction to make a criminal investigation. What it would be doing is another background check. Brett Kavanaugh has gone through six background checks in the FBI already. All they would be doing is doing exactly what the committee did prior to this hearing, talking to witnesses and taking statements and giving a report. This is a complete talking point from the left, this FBI thing, and they're hiding behind this. And fortunately, most of the Republicans, and I, I am happy that most Republicans have not fallen for this, but there are these, these few Republicans, and now um, Jeff Flake has a few others joining him in this call for a week um, for an FBI investigation. Everybody knows that the FBI cannot reach a conclusion in this. Everybody knows that. And yet they're using that talking point anyway. It's a transparent delay tactic, and it's political. It is. And don't kid yourself. These Democrats decided, all the Democrats, I can't think of one Democrat who said they were going to vote in favor of Judge Brett Kavanaugh. This was before any allegations were made public. If Jeff Flake or any Republican thinks that Democrats are going to change their mind when the FBI comes back and says, yeah, the seventh time's the charm, still nothing wrong with the background of Judge Brett Kavanaugh. If anybody thinks Democrats are going to change their mind, they're absolutely insane. We already saw an email from NARAL that said, you know what? Brett Kavanaugh is still unfit. He was already unfit, regardless of what comes up with the FBI investigation. Less than an hour after, this is a sure thing, an hour after the Senate Republicans call for this, NARAL's already saying, well, even if it comes back and says nothing, he's still unfit. This is not going to change anyone's mind. All this is going to do is induce another week of a media feeding frenzy and scouring the internet for anyone. And, and I actually, I don't want to uh, impugn Dr. Ford in this. Her allegations, I don't believe they're credible, but they are plausible, right? That's why we had a hearing. She went to high school in the same neighborhood. They did have some overlapping friends, right? So I wouldn't call it, go so far as to call them credible, but they are plausible. They're theoretically plausible. Every allegation since then has become more and more ludicrous.